Hi, good morning, third grade. So we're on lesson 135, and that is page 152 in your workbook. Um, 152 in your workbook, okay? Um, we are, let's see here. But yeah, page 152, it's only one um, worksheet, okay? So we're doing only one worksheet today. So that is page 152, and look closely. So we're learning something new, so pay close attention, okay, third graders? Um, so that way we can really like focus on what we're learning today. So we're talking about adding the suffixes um, er or est, okay? And so we we're, we're going to add, and then if you want, you can look in your book or you can look up here, either one. But we're going to add er when we compare two nouns. So in this sentence, whenever we're comparing two nouns, we are going to add ER, okay, to it. Now, we're gonna add EST suffix if we're comparing three or more nouns. So this one is for three or more nouns, the, the EST, EST suffix, and ER is when we only compare two nouns. That's the difference between the two. Now. Let's go ahead to our example and we'll read that together. So the first sentence says, read it with me. David is older than Stephen. So we're comparing David and we're comparing Stephen, right? Those are the two boys, right? The two boys. So um, David and Stephen. Now, if, it's, if we're comparing two boys, then we know that we're going to say which one? Older, right? So older, David is older than Stephen. You wouldn't say David is oldest than Stephen. You would not say that, right? Because only comparing two boys, only two nouns there, okay? So the next one, David is the oldest boy in our class. Now, David compared to all the other boys in the class. So that's being compared to all of the boys, right? So several boys there. So that is going to be, um, so, oldest. Do you see the E-S-T with oldest? Okay. So, they added the E-S-T to that, um, to that verb there um, because, why? Because they're comparing lots of boys. They're comparing probably three or more boys there. Okay. So, let's remember this spelling, these spelling rules here. So, this is review. Okay. Now, when a root word ends with the con one consonant and the vowel is short, you double the consonant before adding a suffix beginning with a vowel. And you should learn that in second grade also. So I'm gonna show you the example. For example, big plus er equals bigger. You see how the consonants are doubled? And of course, it, fo it follows a short vowel. It, it, it is sh a short vowel, okay? Um, and so, or I mean a short sound, right? The vowel is short. So um, let's see here. Then the next one, the second point, the second black dot there. When a root word ends with a silent E, you drop the E before adding a suffix that begins with a vowel. So here we go. Large plus ER equals larger. So that E, you drop that E, the silent E, because large, you can't hear the E, and then you add the ER, you add that suffix, okay? That's so easy. So you should not have L-A-R-G-E-E-R. -E -E you should not have double E's there, because you need to make sure you drop that silent E before adding your suffix, okay? I'm just uh, reviewing that spelling rule. Now, the third one is when a root word ends with a consonant and Y, you change the Y to an I before adding the suffix. So, beginning with an E. <clears throat> so, for this one, we have happy plus est equals happiest. So, we change the Y to the I, and then we add the suffix est at the end. That is happiest, okay? So, we change the Y to the I. Added the suffix beginning with an E. Okay, now, think A. Let's read that directions together. Use the spelling rules to add each suffix to the adjective. So we're gonna be adding in those suffixes to our adjectives right now, okay? So for the first one, number one says what? 
warm. That's right. So we're going to add the suffix er and est. And I have this on my whiteboard here. So we have warm. So how are we going to add the er to it? Okay, so you write it down on your paper. And I'll write it down on mine. All right, did you do it? You should have what? Very good. W-A-R-M-E-R. -E That's right. Okay, how about adding the E-S-T to that? So write it down on your paper. Okay, so we have warmest. Very good. So you just add the E-S-T to that. Just like normal. Okay, we'll do another one. The one says nice. Nice, okay, so nice plus er equals, write that down on your paper. Okay, we have nicer, N-I-C-E-R, very good. So don't forget, you're going to drop that one E, the silent E, right, and then add the suffix E-R, because nice, we know that that's silent. We don't want two E's. We don't want N-I-C-E-E-R. It's only one E. Nice-er. Okay, then we want nicest. Nicest. So write nicest down. Nice plus est equals nicest. Okay, and that's how you'll do it. N-I-C-E-S-T. Very good. Okay, let's move on to think B. You can do three and four on your own because I think that's a little simple. Write the correct adjective in the blank for each comparison. So we have number one, today is cold blank than yesterday. So you're either going to do colder or coldest. So what are you going to put here? Good. Today is colder than yesterday. Colder. Write that down and I'll write it down too. So today is colder than yesterday. Okay. All right. And the next one. That star is the bright blank star in the sky tonight. Are you going to say brighter or brightest? That star is the blank, blank star in the sky tonight. Are you going to write? Yes, you're going to say brightest. Very good. Brightest. Because they're comparing, they're comparing what? Lots of stars, several stars, three or more. Three or more, you use est. And up here, they only were comparing to today and yesterday. Only two, two nouns they were comparing. So that's why it's colder, E-R. Okay, you guys are doing so great on that. So again, E-R, you use when comparing only two things, two nouns. E-S-T, you use when comparing three or more things, okay? Remember that third grade? Um, so all you have to do is just that one page, finish that up. And have a good day. I miss you guys, and I'll see you soon.